So how do functions function? A linear function is the equation for a straight line. Pretty crazy, right? How a bunch of numbers and letters can represent a line? But it's true. Every line on a graph, even the one on the board, has a unique equation. The standard form which we write the function of a line is y equals ax plus b. y and x in the equation represents every x and y coordinate on the line, so we leave those as variables in the equation since they have many values. a, on the other hand, only has one value. It represents the slope, or steepness or incline, of the line. b, likewise, has one value, and that's the y-intercept, or the y-coordinate of where the line intersects the y-axis. You might be like, hey, I've seen that equation before. Well, the standard form is also sometimes called the slope-intercept form. Okay, let's talk slopes now. You can determine a few things about the slope of a line without doing any calculations at all. Just by looking at it. If it's going up, that tells you it's a positive number. The steeper it is, the higher the positive number is. So a line with a slope like the one on the board might be a 4. This next line might have a slope of 1 half. And if it's going downwards, then we know it's a negative slope. Similarly, the more steeply it's going down, the lower the number is. So how do we find the exact slope of a line? You can do it if you know any two points of the line. Here's the equation for slope given two points. You subtract the y-coordinates and put it on top, and then subtract the x-coordinates and put that on the bottom. Or one way to think about it is rise over run. Alright, did you write this down? Because we're going to try a problem now, and just a hint, you're going to need it. You have one minute. Good luck! So, how'd you do? This question is a classic slope question. As long as you know your slope formula, it shouldn't be too difficult to solve. Alright, so remember our slope formula is slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's plug in the numbers the question gives us. We know the slope is 1 sixth, y for y2, 1 third for y1, 6 for x2, and 0 for x1. Now multiply both sides by 6 to get rid of the fraction. You get 6 equals 6y minus 2. 
Then do the math and get y equals 4 over 3. All right, next question. I want you to really rock this one. One minute, starting now. All right, so this problem is asking you to find the x-intercept of this line. Well, what do we know about x-intercepts? It's where the line hits the x-axis, meaning at that point, the y-coordinate equals zero. So let's take our original equation for the line and plug in zero for y. From here, just solve it out until we get that, x equals two. And that's our answer. The x value is 2 at the x-intercept. Making d the correct answer. Before we wrap up linear functions, here are some other fun facts. Fact 1. A horizontal line has a slope of 0. This is always the case. For example, a horizontal line might have the equation y equals 5. Fact 2. A vertical line has an undefined slope, so you can't write the equation for a vertical line in the standard form. Instead, the equation looks like x equals constant. So an example of a vertical line would be x equals 4 or x equals 7. Fact 3. Parallel lines always have the same slope. Fact 4. Perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes, meaning if one line has the slope of 2, then the perpendicular line would have a slope of negative 1 half. Math is a tricky section of the SAT, but don't worry, it is very a coachable section. It's all about practice, 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 and practice, and more practice. Students who don't give up always improve their scores on the SAT. That's my guarantee to you.